Humanities in Action, we've had a range of different events over the course of the semester. Today is our culminating event, and it's supposed to be that we have, you know, uh, the keynotes coming from other institutions, as well as kind of a showcase of not just faculty work, but also we had some grad students in there. This paper was written to answer the question, why are people, especially teenagers, reading dystopian novels? I'd say that humanities is uh, central to the mission of the university, not only in terms of the way the curriculum is established, but in terms of the types of skills, interests, and meditative qualities that it uh, provides uh, the students. You're not thinking hard enough. <laughs> We're really glad to have Michael Heyman here. He's a performer, professor at Berkeley College of Music, a poet, and a world-renowned scholar of nonsense. We are gathered here in love on the August anniversary of 150 years of Alice's adventures in Wonderland to witness a marvel of technology, the magic lantern. Sort of. <laughs> For those of us who love puzzles, the flexibility of language and for those who like to question the superiority of logic, then nonsense is quite entertaining. This is my new book project called Bookishness. Here's the argument. San Diego State is invested in creating digital studies and digital humanities here in San Diego as a leader in the region. So students who might be interested in thinking about how the humanities remain relevant in a digital age should definitely come study here. We no longer need books. Yes, I've said it. We have other ways of accessing and archiving information, other ways of reading, writing, and communicating. Just because computers make it so we don't need books doesn't mean we don't want them. And indeed, as my research shows, we want them even more. Ultimately, uh, humanities is about what it is to be human. And that is central to many of our concerns in life. And I, I think a study of it is uh, well suited to a university.